Boston Dynamics is a robotic company situated in Waltham, Massachusetts. It was founded in 1992 by Mark Rubewart. The company is on a mission to create robots that can ease the life of humans in the best possible way, but creating a machine that can reduce the human effort in terms of mobility and agility is a great challenge. Throughout its journey, it has been funded by different companies. Recently, Hyundai Motor Group bought 80% shares of the company for $880 million, making its biggest shareholder. This huge investment is a light of hope in the robotic industry. And in this video, we will tell you about the developments made so far by the company. Boston Dynamics continued to work with the government and made 3D simulated characters that can mimic the motions just like humans. Boston robots move with the help of pre-stored information in them. However, this input is crucial for the movement of robots. Movements that these robots can perform include taking steps and making transitions. However, some subcategories of movements are also included in it. Another advantage is that they come in various sizes and will be accommodated in places that are impossible for humans, like dark and tight spaces. Moreover, they will be able to disarm the bombs and weapons too. Boston Dynamics made a series of highly mobile robots, including a big dog, Atlas, Spout, and Handle. Now they are working on making robots that intend to boost the capabilities of the soldiers without causing any harm to them. Once these robots are made, they'll give a considerable tactical benefit to the Army. Big Dog is a quadruped military robot that is built in 2005. It can stand up, sit down, and even crawl depending on the situation. It is helpful to carry loads on the paths where it is difficult for the vehicles to move because it has legs instead of wheels. The Big Dog has 50 sensors on its body that determine acceleration, motion, and the total force on the joints. Four hydraulic stands are attached to the legs to power the joints. Dr. Martin Bueller headed this project and the Robotic Association awarded him in 2012. Boston Dynamics built and tested many versions of a Big Dog, and finally in 2012, further advancements were made in the machinery, resulting in it being able to carry a load of 400 pounds at a time. They covered 32 kilometers in 24 hours on a single refill. They named it Alpha Dog and made every possible effort to make it a human. Despite all its qualities, it has one crucial flaw, loudness. Kyle Olson, a US military spokesperson, said there is no potential possibility of using these robots alongside the soldiers because they are not comfortable working alongside them just because of their loud petrol-powered engines, and these robots can also give their position to the enemy. In the next attempt, a quieter version of the robot was manufactured and named Spot, which ran on electricity. It had unprecedented mobility, and it could navigate anywhere. It was perfect for routine inspection, and it was also facilitated with the robotic arm, LED illuminator, and folk eye camera so that it can inspect an object before picking it up. Despite being relatively shorter, it didn't prove much helpful for the Army. Hence, they are now in storage with no future recommendations. Next comes the stretch. Quite similar to the handle developed in 2007, which was used to lift and move loads weighing around 30 pounds. Stretch is also known as a heavy hitter because it is capable of doing work in a factory as it can lift up to a 50-pound package and can recognize also. It can fix itself in small places. It can also lift heavy loads from far-off places with little effort and can handle a whole shift in single recharge due to its high-capacity batteries. Rex is a military robot developed in 2007. It has a four-hour battery life and it can be controlled remotely. The distinct feature is that it can work properly even when inverted upside down. It moves with the help of rubber slats attached to its shaft, and these rubber slats work independently. In 2008, their next project was Protection Ensemble Test Mannequin, Petman, which is used to test the special outfits soldiers wore to survive the chemical attacks without causing any harm to them. It has sensors that can even detect sweat, humidity, and body temperature. It is designed in a way that it could work as a human. Their next project was Sand Flea, and unique feature of this robot is that it could jump for about 10 meters into the air and get over the walls. It has a small design and can move at a relatively high speed. It didn't stop before any high jump, 
and were designed in a way that they had an onboard stabilization which kept them oriented during high flights. In 2019, the Wildcat was developed and speed was the primary concern in this project. It can run as fast as 19 miles per hour on suitable terrain as the focus of the manufacturers was just on speed, so they did not bother that it is even louder than a big dog. Next comes Atlas, which is intended to serve as humans in search and rescue operations like shutting valves, opening doors, and powering the pieces of equipment. A more exciting feature these robots possess is that they can run and jump through all the obstacles coming in their way and are equipped with a stereo vision to navigate around themselves. They can carry about 25 pounds to a far-off distance and have a 3.7 kilowatt lithium-ion battery that helps them in multi-mission, i.e. lifting, picking, jumping, and carrying stuff for one hour. Its weight is about 80 kilograms and has six hydraulic actuators on the legs for movement. It was unveiled in 2013, and after almost one decade, it is fully functional and is serving in the military efficiently because it can cover a distance of 2.5 meters in one second. It shows full body mobility just like humans. Company is often keen to emphasize the friendly nature of their robots because, according to them, their robots are no less than helpful companions at work. They can also help humans monitor the power lines and record the screen readings. Altogether, this army of robots is a super achievement of Boston Dynamics, and it will bring a great revolution in the field of artificial intelligence. They will even be able to drive vehicles soon, and the future of this AI is a significant threat to humans as these robots will reduce the human force. Military robots will have a drawback in that they will not be able to listen, hear, and distinguish between the innocent and the enemy. It was a tremendous visionary success of the company to create a machine without the weaknesses of humans, like robots do not get tired and do not need food. Quad ropes are also in practice in the U.S. military and are the future because these robots will help in using the guns. Factory Safety Service Robot will be the first joint production of Boston Dynamics with Hyundai Group and will be designed to use in the fireplaces as its thermal camera will be able to identify the people in the fire. Researchers hope this new device will help save lives and casualties will be minimized. That's all for today's video. We hope that you'll find it quite fascinating. If you enjoyed watching our content, hit that like button at the left and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new technology update from us. We'll see you again soon.